Cockroaches are commonplace when it comes to checking which restaurants have been dinged in the health inspection reports. What's not so common, though, is a four time four dirty dining offender. Yeah, we have one this week and 13 Chief Investigator Darcy Spears goes back to the strip in tonight's dirty dining. Singing the blues. That's how it was in July at m and Soul Food Cafe. Now the song remains the same, but the owner has no interest in an encore. You don't want to say anything at all. A combination of highest demerits, imminent health hazards and failed inspections has led to m and four appearances on Dirty Dining. This is the second time for the location on Las Vegas Boulevard near Sahara. It got a 36 demerit C grade on a routine inspection August 22nd. But what's different this time is that an employee filed a complaint with the health district that they found to be valid from cockroaches to improper hand washing to food being taken out of the trash and put back in the fridge. That's what the complainant told the health district, writing that kitchen workers were not using gloves and were touching raw chicken, catfish and pork chops without washing hands in between. The employee also said there were roaches, no person in charge, and said that when the health district ordered compromised food to be tossed into the trash, employees would later take it out of the garbage and place it back into the fridge. Inspectors did not validate that portion of the complaint because they didn't see it happen happen, but they did see improper hand washing and cockroaches, and there was no manager or person in charge when they arrived, which seems to be a pattern. None of the owners are here right now. Okay, who's the person in charge? That's all we need. They're not, they're, they're not here right now. They're on the store run. On August 22nd, inspectors found spoiled greens, a glove box stored directly on top of ready to eat fried chicken and dirty kitchen wares in clean storage. There were live multi generational roaches near the entrance to the dry storage area and inspectors noted a repeat violation for gaps in the exterior kitchen door, giving bugs a way in. Hot water was intentionally turned off at the only hand sink in the kitchen due to a leak. Fried chicken stored at unsafe temperatures on a shelf below raw chicken had to be thrown out, as did multiple containers of half and half that were sitting out at room temperature. Utensils sat in standing water and there was no sanitizer solution set up. All the sanitizer buckets were empty, including the one at the raw chicken prep station. M&M was required to set up a meeting by August 13th with a food safety consultant and the health district, but failed to do so. We tried to get owner Tim Gilmore on camera again. So is there anything I can say from your perspective besides no comment? The answer was no. M&M was back to a zero demerit A grade on August 27th. Further south on the strip, Ocean One Bar and Grill Restaurant in the Miracle Mile shops at Planet Hollywood was shut down August 23rd for a multi-generational cockroach infestation. The health district received two separate customer complaints about roaches found in food on August 20th. Inspectors also saw an egg sack and dead roaches at the pastry station, server station and wear washing area. Area, plus dirty drains, dirty walls, and stained cutting boards. Ocean One was back to a nine demerit A on August 26th. And just a little off the strip on Tropicana, more multi-generational roaches caused an imminent health hazard at Hooters Casino Hotel's wear washing area. It was shut down August 21st. There were also lots of fruit flies, house flies, and heavily soiled walls. That area at Hooters was back to a zero demerit A on August 23rd. On our website, one more imminent health hazard closure at Full House Filipino Barbecue on Maryland Parkway. No hot water was the big hazard there, but inspectors also found expired 12 day old meat. You'll find details and photos from that at KTNV.com. Darcy Spears, 13 Investigates.